China is accusing the U.S. of indiscriminate use of force in shooting down a suspected Chinese spy balloon. The country's vice foreign minister says he has lodged a formal complaint with the U.S. embassy. The U.S. shot down the balloon off the Carolina coast over the weekend after it flew over sensitive military sites across North America. The Biden administration it. says China was using the balloon for surveillance it. purposes. But China has called it a, quote, civilian unmanned airship. U.S. lawmakers' reactions have been mixed. We should not have had uh, this kind of incursion into the United States. And we have a real problem with China on a number of issues, uh, from their human rights violations to their violations of international uh, business law, uh, mm -hmm. to even uh, the challenges we've had with them on overt spying. So uh, I'm grateful that the military took decisive action when they did and how they did. I want to start by doing something that I don't do very often, uh, which is commending Joe Biden for actually having the guts to shoot this down. Unfortunately, he didn't do that until a week after it entered U.S. airspace. He allowed a full week for the Chinese to conduct spying operations over the United States, over sensitive military installations, exposing not just photographs, but the potential of intercepted communications. Joining us now for more is Philem Kine. He's a China correspondent for Politico. Philem, uh, we heard how U.S. officials are responding. Talk to us about how Chinese officials are responding to this balloon being shot down. Yeah, I think it's important to note this is an unmitigated disaster for the Chinese government. You know, for this is a government that whenever it gets caught doing something, its its reflex is to deny and cover up. And when this, you know, within 15 hours of this balloon being a revelation by the Pentagon that it was in U.S. airspace, number one, it admitted it was of Chinese origin um, and it expressed regrets, uh, although they said it was of civilian nature. And, you know, this, the, the, the Chinese government's reaction so far has been pretty mild. You know, they've called the, chi the shooting down of the balloon a quote unquote overreaction. Um, but to a large extent, it reflects how the Chinese government is really scrambling to try not to derail this charm offensive that it's been targeting the U.S. with for several weeks and in order to, you know, maintain some sort of a movement toward lessening the rancor in the relationship. But this really upends that entirely. Yeah, and feel him on that point. Secretary of State Antony Blinken postponed his trip to Beijing last week after the discovery of the balloon was made public. So how will this impact the U.S. and China's already strained relations? Uh, fair to say that the U.S.-China relationship has hit a spy plane-sized pothole mm. that's going to make already fractious ties even worse. Um, you know, the Blinken trip was, you know, the Biden administration's uh, option to try to test that rhetoric by the Chinese government that it was ready to, to lessen tensions. And that's off the table now. We don't know when, if or when, uh, Secretary of State Blinken will go back. In the meantime, this incident has handed red meat to congressional uh, delegations who, you know, s unite on this idea of a China threat. And the, a third thing is that the next big issue that we're going to see in terms of U.S.-China relations is probably House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's trip to Taiwan. So the next few months are going to look pretty interesting in terms of how the relationship unfolds. Hmm. You said early on that this was an unmitigated disaster for China. And right now, U.S. Navy divers are working to recover the wreckage of the balloon today. What might the U.S. actually learn from the materials that they're recovering? This is going to keep the lights on all night for many nights in Beijing because uh, if and when they recover the, those materials, and you have to remember the U.S. Air Force downing of it was designed to ensure that the essentially the machinery was intact, um, they're, if they're going to find out what that thing really is. Uh, and what kind of data it collected. Um, and it's going to, it's going to, there's going to be a very clear line to People's Liberation Army control of this, uh, of this device, if indeed it is determined to be a spy uh, balloon rather than a weather balloon, as the Chinese government has insisted that it is. So it's going to be a drip, drip of really humiliating news for the Chinese government as they pick apart those remains and find out what exactly it was and was doing. All right, Philem Kine. Philem, thank you very much.